Juno, 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 so that I could see all the instruments that I had to have fun and to do a good job. <laughs> when you launch, and that's when you launch, and that's. That you know, the the kids graduate, and there's nothing you can do. Get <laughs> difficult in a way because this was like a child. <laughs> it was like a child that we brought along, and uh, we would never see the child again. LC, you have permission to launch. Roger, proceeding with the count. I was really nervous. The Atlas V with Juno. And the hope is you're going to control that firecracker. Just thinking about navigation to another planet. Spacecraft, and we have our spacecraft team. Spacecraft, test as you fly and fly as you test. Spacecraft, there's no astronauts on our spacecraft, so. You really have to pay attention. The gravity assist. It added roughly 70% of the velocity that we got at launch to the spacecraft. And then the navigation team continues to track our course. We fine tune things. In the old days when sailors would navigate the seas and sail into uncharted waters, they looked at the fixed patterns. They looked at the fixed patterns. Of known stars in the sky and used that to guide their way. There's a lot of waiting when you're commanding a spacecraft that's that far away. We send a command to the spacecraft that's typically an hour and a half later before we get confirmation that that got on board and can watch whatever series of commands we just sent to see them executed. We get excited about just the way the spacecraft is performing. Sometimes the engineers need reminding that we're there for the science. Because the engineering aspect of it is so cool. The spacecraft, spacecraft you know are, to answer these scientific questions. We have an awful lot of instruments. Instruments, instruments. It's on par with some of the biggest science missions NASA's ever done. And we had to fire the main engine for the most critical time for the Jupiter orbit insertion. With all of that, we've got to get every system to work perfectly. Station's on June Accord. It's time we see the tone for minimum burn timer. Almost there. And my heart was beating out of my chest. It cut off exactly on time, exactly like we had predicted. Station's on June Accord. We have the tone for burn cutoff on Delta It was just absolutely perfect. Juno, welcome to Jupiter. We got the signal, the main engine was complete, and I just threw my arms in the air, and it was just such a relief. It was unbelievable. I mean, just, we made it to Jupiter, and there was no way I was gonna <laughs> keep it together in that moment, but yeah. And we had to prepare for the worst. We don't need that anymore. Yes. Pretty amazing when something that far away goes as perfectly as you had planned. Well, the future looks really, really bright. Not too bright, because you're a long way from the sun, but... <laughs> Spacecraft is operating perfectly. It's a testament to good design practices, but more importantly, it's a testament to the team. The Juno team has always been really like a family. Uh, all around the world. <laughs> what blows my mind is when I go out at night, and I look at Jupiter, and I realize we're there. <laughs>